Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. You know what? No, 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 no. We're not going to be playing as the robot today. We're going to be playing as the bullet on a mod the gungeon run. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be playing Casey. I'm going to give myself Casey. That's it. I'm going to use Casey for the entirety of the game, and I'm going to try my damnedest to see if this gun is actually good. And I'm not going to be cursed either. We're just going to give. No, is it give? Give Casey. There we go. That's it. That's the only gun I'm gonna use. I, if I could drop the blasphemy, I would do it, but this is all we're gonna be doing. Cause I I don't like Casey. I, I've had Casey. I understand it. I think it fires very slowly. I think it is uh, not the best. I'm, I've had bad search circumstances with it in the past. I know that for instance, in uh, DD20, Explosive Pyre means that you just take damage whenever you use Casey. But maybe I'm missing something with this gun. I don't know. Well, I mean, it is a gun, but it's also just a baseball bat. At least with the uh, grenades, they don't kill you instantly. And I know with Casey, you gotta kill an enemy, knock him into another enemy, that way you get a whole bunch of damage done. We can knock back bullets, so we can kill enemies at range if we can't do anything else. But... I mean, this is all just about uh, about me practicing with this this item, this gun, because I hate it. <laughs> and not being cursed means we actually can buy some stuff from Cursula if we so choose, and I think we will. There's also a uh, was there a charmed horn for sale? Oh, absolutely, buy the charmed horn and then steal the HP from the primary shop. Yeah. So I mean, this is. I mean, I, I didn't want to become cursed because. I'm doing this specifically to uh, to practice. I'm doing this specifically to practice with Casey. I didn't want to practice with LJ coming after me. We are kind of missing a little bit of something, not being able to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, not being able to, uh, to practice against jammed enemies. You know, maybe some jammed enemies won't die in one hit or something, but we're gonna take Charmed Horn. Uh, we need two more money. Okay, we can get two more money. We are going to steal the heart locket. <clears throat> and hopefully as a result of this, we will be getting more jammed enemies. We will get enough money that we can go down to the oubliette after buying a key. It's a little bit risky because we might not be able to afford the key if we steal the heart locket, but I want the curse early. Because if I get the curse early, then I should hopefully be able to pick up more money by killing more jammed enemies, so. And also, this kind of counteracts not being cursed immediately. We can become cursed by stealing, and then get more jammed enemies, and then get more practice. So this kind of feels perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Because I want the jammed enemies. I want to practice. And I think that's gonna happen here. So, I mean, boss fights, boss fights are gonna be a problem as should be expected because we can't really get too close to most bosses. Trigger Twins we might be able to. Trigger Twins also do spawn extra enemies so we can always use the, uh... you can drop it, okay. We can use the spawned enemies to knock them into the bullets. Uh, but maybe I'll, I'll use the Blasphemy on boss fights if I feel the need. But, I mean, the idea is that I'm gonna be trying just to use the Blasphemy, so switching and using, oh no, I'm gonna try to use the Casey. Switching and using the Blasphemy in certain situations seems like a little bit of a, uh, of a cop-out. But, you're not, you're probably not gonna be using Casey 24-7 when you pick it up. You're gonna be using it when it makes sense to use. You know, it doesn't really seem like it is uh, something that you would wanna use for boss fights. So I'm probably, I'm probably gonna switch off to the Blasphemy, but maybe I'll give it a shot. You know, if it's gonna be the uh, the Bullet King, I'll kill him with his, his Chancellor, buddy. <clears throat> Problem is, is that if you're just uh, knocking shots back, you're not gonna be doing a lot of damage. So you know what? We won't use Blasphemy for bosses, but I will use Blasphemy for every room combat in the game, if I can uh, actually remember. Oh, 
uh, it worked, but I shouldn't have done it. I kept swinging the sword and it wouldn't get me uh, far enough away from the boss. I should have gotten hit like six times there. And remember that you should just swing the sword as defense if you need to. Oh! I gotta stop doing that. I keep uh, swinging Casey. And as a result of swinging Casey, I push myself very close to the boss, end up getting very close to getting hit. No, 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 no. I think I'm just gonna switch. Use the blasphemy and other weapons if we find them. And uh, not worry so much about using Casey for boss fights, but I'm gonna use Casey for everything else if I can. Might as well look for secret rooms using the uh, the Rattler here. If I have to go buy, oh, we, we can't buy a blank, can we? Well, I can take damage. Can I? Maybe if there's an explosive barrel, I can take damage. But otherwise, we're just gonna buy the key, go down to the oubliette, see what we get on the next floor, and go from there. Yeah, so there's a way that you can kill uh, the Bullet King in one hit. You knock the Chancellor into him, but there's a trick to it. Like, you have to hit him, you have to hit the Chancellor before you have to hit the Chancellor with the first shot from Casey. You can't aggro him and then have him run into you because the Chancellor has like some weird invincibility that applies to him. Or something to that effect. I don't quite understand it myself. I've never done it, so I don't understand the rules for it. Hmm. We don't need to, uh, to steal from her, but if I steal the pitchfork, I can gun munch it or sell it later. So you know what? I will do it. I want curse. I actually do want curse. Ah, uh, well, let's use the rat way for looking for secret rooms. I want the curse because I, I honestly just don't care all that much about not getting cursed. I like curse. I like money. Oh, ha, 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 ha. So let's do it, let's stack it up. And if at the end of the run we get so much curse that we spawn LJ, whatever. But I wanna see jammed bosses, I wanna, I wanna have a chance at uh... Seems bad, it seems bad. <laughs> that worked. I don't know. I don't know which enemies will die if they end up being jammed though, you know? Like if this sniper was jammed, would he die in one shot from this? I mean, I know Casey does a lot of damage. That's kind of uh, one of its big strengths. Oh my God. But even something like that, like killing the, uh, the big mushroom, you kill the mushroom and then the mushroom man spawns a lot of bullets. It still makes your life a, a pain in the ass. It seems like, it seems like Casey should be a situational weapon. Like you can maybe open up a room with it, kill an enemy, maybe knock an enemy into another enemy. But if you're gonna do that, why not just use another weapon? Is it because Casey has infinite ammo? Why is this such a good weapon? <laughs> why do people love Casey? Is it the fact that you can just knock him around? It's nice that you can, uh, you know, get multiple kills on enemies very quickly. Um, I mean, I guess we'll just use the pitchfork. Check for a mimic. We don't need to worry about actually uh, picking up junk. You know, we're not the robot. We don't get a damage bonus for it, but we might want. Oh my God, this is gonna suck. Oh, whoa, sh don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Makes it much more interesting to dodge when you uh, hit it with Casey. Holy cow. See, like the uh, the jammed shotgunner there doesn't die in one hit, but we actually do have kind of a larger area of effect than I was thinking of. With Casey, we knocked back a lot of bullets that were about to hit me. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It worked fine in that room. Oh. 
It's kind of just like a slow blasphemy that does a ton of damage. Is that good? I don't know. Uh oh. Can we kill a, a jammed ghost in one shot? What do you think? Taking bets, taking all bets. It is satisfying knocking grenades around and watching them die. Well, you do not kill a ghost in one hit. See, that's what I have a problem with, I think. You know, you know the blasphemy, you can fire it very quickly. You're not really gonna get yourself in too uh, rough of a situation. Can you just like kill him, please? Yeah, whatever. If you can't kill the enemies in one hit or knock them back, like there doesn't seem to be any knockback associated with the weapon except if you kill an enemy. It seems a little not ideal. Like if I hit him with a baseball bat, I want them to go flying even if they don't die. And even if I'm killing an enemy, I'm not applying any knockback to them unless they are actually dead and they don't split. Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. It's uh, it's the bug, the standard bug in Gungeon where uh, if you, if your projectile isn't on screen for a frame, it doesn't do any knockback, but this doesn't actually have a projectile, so that's why I'm not getting any knockback on hitting an enemy and them not dying. Yeah, I think there's like special case code maybe that uh, will knock them back if they die, but if they don't die, well, although well, he didn't die. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe maybe if I'm far enough away from them, they'll get knocked back. Maybe the problem is I'm trying to stand too close to enemies, and if you hit him with like the percussion point of the baseball bat, then you'll get lots of uh, lots of knockback on them. I don't know. Here's a teleporter, I don't need to open the shortcut. I always forget to open the shortcut. Maybe that's it, because I, I did get like a little bit of a double tap on that guy. I killed his, uh, his popcorn internal man. Maybe that's what you want. You want to get like that double tap at the, uh, at the tip of the bat. Oh! But then, he, then things like that happen, and the, I think maybe that's happened in the past too, where I've still gotten hit by a bullet, and I'm like, I should have been able to block it. I've got the freaking bat. Yeah, yeah. And you know what that is? I think that's the the, uh, the game's bug where um, enemy projectiles, when they hit uh, a guan stone, for instance, they will uh, split like the shot grub in bullet hell. He shoots at you. You have a uh, you have a guan stone. The guan stone will just uh, make his shot split, makes it more, much more difficult to dodge. But sometimes the shot hits your guan stone, and then it does actually split and I don't know what causes it to split and sometimes what causes it not to split. But this seems uh, not ideal. <laughs> so like the, uh, that bird, you know, I expected to, I expected to uh, break his bullet, but it didn't break. It's, it's inconsistencies like that that make me, I think, not like Excuse me, that uh, make me not like particular weapons like this. Forgot also, I can just do that. Because if it works, then good, you're set. But if it doesn't work, then you got a bit of a problem on your hand, don't you? Well, we are going to have to just destroy the chest, whatever. We got a key out of it. It's ideal. We can actually go to the shop now. Do we want to go to the shop? I think we do. We want to try to pick up a gun. Believe it or not, because if we pick up a gun, then we will be able to get a non-gun drop from the boss. So if I pick up the snowballer, if I buy a key, which I can't, whoops. whoops. I could have bought a key, if, or I could have used a key to open the blue chest, and then if it was a gun, we would be fine. Because a gun is so important in making sure that we actually do get a non-gun from the boss, why don't I open this? Yep, we get a key and a Uzi. And now that we have that, I will open this chest. As long as it's not a mimic, it's not. We get zombie bullets. Zombie bullets could be interesting for us, but I don't think it's that important. I'm not going to be using 
guns. So, it's probably something that we'll end up selling, I guess. We're at full health, I will use Blasphemy against the boss, why not? I said I would. I'll take a shot at him with Casey, though. That does not do enough damage. <laughs> yeah, you can't use Casey on bosses. As fun as it might sound, it just doesn't work. What I will do, though, I think is, uh... No, 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 you know, I will use Casey only. I was thinking about using the, uh... The poison? The fire? Do a little bit of extra damage over time, but you know what? No. This is gonna be the Casey Blasphemy run. No, there's also like a, a speed running trick that lets you uh like uh yeah you, you can like glitch out the game a little bit you apply your your weapon status effect or your blasphemy slash to uh lots of lots of the room it's like you you, you shoot you reload and then you turn around at the exact same time or something and if you do it correctly, it actually um, glitches out the blasphemy swing and causes it to hit like everything. You break a lot of bullets, you hit all the enemies on the screen, you can use it to really like quickly and easily clear out entire rooms. It's kind of working, I'm, I'm kind of getting it. I can kind of hear the um, ching of the weapon when it when it seems to be working, but it's way too finicky for me to use, and it's uh, probably just a glitch that I'll never end up using. <laughs> I mean, it sounds cool. Maybe that's a, a way you can use it on the robot to just do a lot of damage to enemies on the room to kind of act as a bit of a melee attack. I don't know. I don't know. But in any case, we have Bullet Boar. Should hopefully find secret rooms, although I don't know if it's good for that purpose. I feel like it might be. Anything in the shop we want, we can steal. I could have stolen the Snowballer, I guess. You know what? Take the Snowballer. Why? I mean, if we come across, come, Come across. If we come across a cell creep, I can just sell the snowballer. It'll sell for like 20 credits. And that's 20 extra credits for me to use. So I am kind of relying on a cell creep happening, but if it does, good. So, so far, Casey has actually been a pretty good gun. We haven't really taken too much damage from using it. And it is one hit killing a lot of enemies, two hit killing um, jammed versions of some enemies. I do like that you can kind of knock back. Uh... You can kind of knock back uh, bullets from enemies, but you just don't get any knockback when you hit any enemy with it. And because you propel yourself forward, you've got to be very careful. At least with Blasphemy, you get the sword swing that breaks bullets and the projectile, and it fires quickly. Excuse me. Oh! You know, we're getting the knockback again when we kill an enemy, but we're not getting a knockback when we don't kill the enemy. If they have too much HP, we're gonna be standing right next to them. And of course, you got the uh, the explosive shot, which is kind of nice. Explosive shot? You the ricochet shot? <laughs> An explosion just happened. That's why my brain was like explosive shot. But you got you have the uh, the ricochet, which does a lot of damage. It's like a hundred damage or something. 
think your basic starter pistol does like six, five or six damage, so, you know, comparatively, that's a lot of damage. Up to 20 shots out of a weapon. Strong enough to uh, maybe kill a gun nut? Although, no, I don't think so, because we just did that on the last floor and it didn't actually kill gun nuts in one shot when we knocked a body into him. I wonder how many shots from uh, this it takes. Looks like three shots to kill an enemy. It's not too bad. Take the blank. But yeah, this is going fine. This is going fine. But where, where is like the, the super love from casing com coming from? Like, is there a particular use case for this that I'm just not understanding? Because to me, Blasphemy just feels like it's a better weapon. The ability to have a ranged projectile, well, probably not on the robot, but the ability to have a ranged project projectile and faster firing, resulting in more bullets breaking, seems to me to be a, a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, what is the word I'm looking for here? Pretty good thing. I keep missing. I try to hit him in the air. It doesn't work. You know what? <laughs> to knock him into the pit. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, Trade off. That's the word I'm looking for. Almost worked. <laughs> Almost ricocheted my shell, myself, my shell. Almost ricochet, ricocheted myself off of both of them, <laughs> knocking them both into pits. I cannot speak today, not at all. See, I did get a little bit of knockback on him. That was kind of strange. Certain other enemies I wasn't. For the the ghost, I wasn't. That jammed ghost on the last floor, I think it was. But I hit that gun nut and he actually did get a little bit of knockback applied to him. Why did that happen when it seemed so unlikely to happen on uh, in other situations? I'm gonna sell this, we're gonna sell this, we're gonna sell... I, I mean, I could sell a lot of guns. I feel like maybe I shouldn't sell all the guns though because we might actually still want weapons in order to uh, fight bosses or to kill enemies when we do not have full health or if the enemy is in a particular situation where we can't hit him with the with the KC. Maybe we already have taken damage so we can't use Blasphemy. Interesting. So I'm noticing already. That we're not killing jammed enemies in one hit. Do, do damage upgrades apply? Also, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure jam blobs can't hurt me. Oh God. But can, uh, Good enough? I don't know. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. That's a that's a rough room. Open the chest. I'm actually looking for guns because guns means that we uh, again will not get that guaranteed gun drop from the boss. Ideally. I wanna see if I can knock you out of the air. Hit me, hit me! I can. Tried that a couple of times before and it's sometimes not worked. Excuse me. 
felt like sometimes if I tried to hit an enemy, oh, okay. One of those rubber bulletkin when they're in the air, it doesn't actually do like full damage to them or something. I don't know. This seems like it could be very tough if you were cursed. And I feel like I still don't necessarily ever want to take KC if I'm playing the robot and I'm cursed or something like that because that seems like it would be very tough. Having LJ after you trying to use KC to kill all the jammed enemies but you can't kill them in one shot, but you've gotta get so close to them. You also don't have the immunity to contact damage that the bullet does, that's why I decided to play as the bullet. Seems like it could be pretty tough, so let's just switch over to the Blasphemy. We know who this boss is. Come on. That doesn't do anything. I'm immune to poison, come on! I don't know, it's kind of working. I'm gonna hit her. Yeah! How much damage did, th did that do? Did that do enough? At least she's a pretty easy boss for this floor. So if I want to do some uh, Casey shenanigans, now's the time. Especially that we have the poison immunity happening. I think you just should not use Casey against bosses. It would take a long time to kill the Gorgon if we were uh, just knocking back bullets. I think you would wanna, you know, wait for an attack like this, knock a whole bunch of bullets back, but they don't seem to do that much damage even though they are jammed bullets. Because she is jammed herself, I don't know. We do not want the lockpick, I don't think. In fact, we can't even drop the lockpick because, oh, we can drop the, can we sell the lockpick? Dude, if we can sell the lockpick, we should absolutely go sell that pick. I don't know if the uh, sell creep will actually accept it. I don't think he will. Nah. It's weird that you can drop it, because norm normally you can't drop the uh, equipment that is uh, starting equipment for characters, but I guess we can drop that in particular. You know, we should drop the uh, zombie bullets. We're not gonna be using it. Thank you for the items back. Let's drop the Rattler, probably. We have Flame Hand. Flame Hand's pretty good. Sure. I'd like to buy more items in the future if we can. And let's spend a key going into Matt Man's room. Hopefully it's Matt Man, if it is gonna be Fairy in a Bottle. No, yeah, Fairy in a Bottle. Uh, that'll be a little bit dis disappointing. Get Dark Marker. Do we want Dark Marker? Roll Bomb. Just getting like so many good items for selling. <laughs> Cause I don't want any of this. I don't want freaking roll bombs. Get rid of this. Garbage. Garbage. Let's get rid of, I'll get rid of Dark Marker. I'm not gonna ever be using this gun. It's A or S tier, so it will sell for a lot. He loves it. Does he say that when, when you sell a high quality item to him or does he, does, does he just say that? Oh yes, thank you. Oh, there's a chest. There's one chest we haven't used yet. Let's go see what it is. I'm pretty sure I already stole something from the shop on this floor. Yeah, we stole the uh, the uh, poison immunity, didn't we? Okay, okay. We'll sell elephant gun. <laughs> More. At this point, I'm just selling him everything. It's like, whatever. Sure, I'll sell you the snowballer. Mm hmm. I'll keep the Guanstone. 
and we're done. We're done with the floor. Let's leave. Ooh, uh, did I buy all the keys from him? Yes, I did. There's also a dueling pistol. I could buy it and then immediately sell it. I could steal it and sell it. I don't think that's necessary, though. Apparently, this is going to be a high money Casey run. <laughs> Casey and Blasphemy only. Well, I want a couple of guns in case I do end up taking uh, unnecessary damage. God. Does he fire six times? Because it felt like he was, that uh, gun cultist was doing a one, two, three, four, five, six, like right there. I didn't knock one of them back, but I did knock the other one back. What the heck's up with that? Inconsistent. I hate the inconsistencies because that knockback is rather important if you're playing the robot. You can't get too close to an enemy. And with a blobulon, you know, there's literally no way you can kill him in one shot. Unless you use something that transmogrifies him, of course, but you can't kill him in one shot. So you would very much prefer that the knockback actually happened. Okay, we just gotta knock you around once. See, I, I knocked him back. Oh, wow. Reach on this is a little bit better than I thought. Gotta also remember I do have Charmed Horn. I haven't been using it. But I definitely should. Lucky shot. Like, I should be using it against gun cultists, definitely. Just get them off of me for a second. Get them off my tail. And then you follow up with a, with a shot when they're charmed and they're not looking at you and they're not shooting you. But on, uh, on enemies that aren't jammed, being able to one-shot kill a lot of them are pretty nice. It's, I mean, it's pretty nice. Is that the, the big draw here? That you one-shot a lot of enemies and then they are just not a problem anymore? I could see that. I mean, I don't have a key and I also don't want to open it, so let's not. I will open secret rooms, why not? And I will open a chest because I do need keys, and there we go. And we got a shotgun. I might just want to keep the shotgun and not worry about selling it because it's it's just a good enough gun. That if we ever do run into a, a desperate situation and we need a weapon, and we've sold all of, our, all of our other weapons, we're out of ammo, we can't have infinite ammo in the blasphemy anymore. Okay, let me try to knock him back. Yeah, it definitely feels like if you get him with the tip of Casey, you actually do apply the knockback. Okay. That seems a little annoying, actually. But maybe it's uh, entirely intentional and working as expected. Did I, I, I picked up a key. Damn it. I realize now that that was not what I should have done, obviously. Don't pick up the key. Oh, well, missed it. Missed it. I mean, it does feel like I'm getting a little bit of knockback, but just not a lot, because I am hitting that Blobulord, and he, that Blobulon, and he is getting knocked back a little bit, it seems like. Like, he didn't get knocked back at all. Maybe, th maybe the table, though, was affecting him somewhat. Nope. I'm getting the knockback on him with an okay amount of reliability. I don't know. But like, he didn't get knocked back at all. Maybe he was Ashen, that's why he didn't get knocked back, but I think Ashen, yeah. Ashen Bullet can still do get knocked back. So what is it that causes enemies to get knocked back? I, I'm missing something here. I'm missing something that I feel is important to get. 
know what? Don't care. Just <laughs> don't explode on me, please. Rude. I don't think jammed bodies do more damage. I think it's just I mean, they just have more HP, right? That's a weird miss. Weird whiff. Feels like sometimes if I do hit the uh, the bullets back and then hit them with the KC shot, I am killing them in one shot. Just open it. Gunzang, oh, it's such a good gun. Why do I have to be doing a KC run now? You know what, it has been a while since I've had Gunzang. Dude, that is like actually okay. It has been a while since I've had a Gunzang now that, now that I think about it. Weird. Well, not weird. It's a good gun. Maybe I'll use it against the this floor's boss just to just to do it. Just to use it. Missed. I just want to knock him into Yellow Mage to kill him in one shot. It's like if I can, let's take advantage of that now. Okay, we're done with the floor. Um, let's fight the boss, and let's use Blasphemy. It'll take a million years. Ah, maybe I'll use the thing. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, kill him in one shot with KC. <laughs> it does work. Oh, no, why? He's invincible, too. You see, that's gotta be a glitch, because the freaking guy's invincible now. Regardless, that was a quick fight <laughs> of the old king. That's what you can do with Casey, I guess. So if you aggro the uh, the chancellor and then you hit him into the boss, that'll kill him in one shot. Gotcha. And of course, I get Gunther again, just like I got Gunzang on a run in which I'm specifically trying to just use Casey. I'm not gonna complain about it too much. Gunther's good. If I get lucky, we'll get another cell creep. Maybe we'll get like six or 700 gold on this run. Not gold, it's uh, what do you call it? It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, keep thinking of the mon monolith money. It's like gold, debris, no, blue stuff. No, it's uh, casings. Casings for the KC. If only there were more bosses that had Chancellors. Although I think there is gonna be like a weird thing with the Chancellor on uh, AG and D. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons when that comes out. So if there is something to deal with that, that might be interesting. Wow. Surprisingly, you were able to kill a ghost with one Casey swing. And it, I mean that's, it's making Casey look good on a room like that, but that's just because Blasphemy would also be, be would be good there. You know, being able to block bullets and do uh, damage to the enemy from the swing, you know? Like, I feel like it's uh, making it look better than it might actually be. I gotta admit, it's, uh, it's working out okay. Do not get in the minecart. Excuse me. I guess we can just shoot like six bullets back at an enemy and if they're not jammed, it will kill them, ideally. What? I was standing on the platform game, you know it. Ooh. That is extremely weird. <laughs> there's, even, there's like a tiny little delay. You know what? There's a tiny, 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 tiny little delay there. That is really weird. 
did not expect that at all. <laughs> it's not a tiny, tiny, tiny little delay. It's actually kind of a long delay. Excuse me. <laughs> that worked. That works well. That works well, that is swell. I like the idea of having Casey for uh, for the Mimic though, because you can keep him in the room and you can kill him in the room by just hitting him again. Potentially. Doesn't do anything. I thought I'd check. This is like like my first time using Casey, uh, Casey appropriately. Or even just attempting to use it. It's working out well. <laughs> it's like the uh, the projectile does kind of last in the air for a second, so you can uh, kill enemies that move into your uh, your weapon range. A key, C4, three blanks, a gun muncher. Kind of disappointing, really. Okay, gotta watch out for the birds. And see, I hit that bird, but I didn't knock him back. Gotta watch out for the bird bullets, though, because if you, if you, apparently if you swing at a bird, when they shoot a bird bullet, you don't kill them. You don't kill the bu bird bullet, it'll still hit you. I mean, we need a poison, guys. I don't know why the little ones die just by touching you, but it's kinda nice. Means that you wouldn't have to worry so much about uh, them on a DD20 run or anything like that. Wow, okay. Second time in the run so far, having a uh, a challenge room. I will accept this challenge. It's a very small room. Are you, you seeing how small this room is? Excuse me, I gotta kill you. You see, it's stuff like that. It's, it must be the same principle that the um, the bird bullets don't die. Is his bubble might die, but um, it does spawn a bullet immediately, so it will still hit me. Okay. I feel like blasphemy is better at taking care of stuff like that. Oh come on, game. I, I sound angry because I. Oh wow. Because I'm a little bit angry. So this is the the portal gun. This is the test gun in Mod the Gungeon. It fires bullets from random guns. What? The gun exploded. It fired every single shot and then exploded and then hurt me. That doesn't seem very good. Yes, it makes a very nice like alpha strike, but uh you know, unless it bypasses damage cap on a boss, what's the what's the frick? What the hell's the point? Feel like I got. Feel like I need to get my money back off of that thing. <laughs> that seems like a terrible gun. What is the chance of it just like completely and utterly just breaking like that? Is that what it's supposed to do? I've never. I mean, I've never used it, so I have no idea. Come on. That's weird. I, I killed him, but his bullets remained. See, like, things like that. Like, I, I, ooh, hello. I killed the, um, the yellow mage, but his bullets didn't die? It's just weird. I don't know. This game's weird, man. And Casey, it, it's, Seems like it's been okay, but it does seem like it might be a little bit situational. Oh my god. You didn't die. Hello. Come here. No, actually come here, please. Come here. Kid, are you kidding me? Can you die? Come on. 
There we go, we get the balloon gun, which means we can fly. Doesn't really help us. Even if we find a, uh, da -da -da -da, I have no legs. Even if we find a, uh, I have tiny little stubby legs. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna knock you into him. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just by making him no longer jammed, he went down a level. That's a bug I hope they never fix, because it's in the player's favor. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Stupid portal bug. <laughs> I don't know if it is a bug. It is weird. It's definitely weird. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta watch out for uh, bullet bubbles here, because the bullet bubbles might still try to hurt me after I swing into them. Yeah, I just really wish that it wouldn't do that. <laughs> really wish that he would just break the bubbles. I don't know. Well, you know what? I'm gonna use guns on him. Ah, oh, this is lovely. Um, Dropbox update wants to uh, do something on my computer. I swear to God, I disabled that stupid notification. It still asks me every time Dropbox wants to update. Would have been better had it actually decided on... Uh... Man, the accuracy on this sucks. Would have been better if it actually had just... Um... I'm gonna hit you! It doesn't work. Well, actually, it might work. I don't care about not getting the flawless. I wanna... I wanna see if I can knock back one of his bullets. No, I wanna I want hit this. Ugh. No! I missed it! I gotta go back for it. You take damage and you just uh, lose your ability to actually swing your weapon. Alright, you know what? Enough playing around. I should knock back one of those! I should knock back one of the bullets that spawn enemies. What happens then? Will it still spawn an enemy? I should also use my blanks. But I can't use my blanks to test hitting the bullets because it makes the bullets go away. Okay, Gunzang. You're not that good. <laughs> you are extremely inaccurate. I guess, um, normally, I, again, I play as a robot. I have better accuracy as the robot, and as a result, weapons like the Gunzang, it's like, oh, it's actually much more likely to hit an enemy because it is much more accurate on the robot. If you take some damage, I do not care. I will just go heal up to full as soon as I can. We got another gun. Did we not get a gun on this floor? We did. We picked up the portal gun, <laughs> and whew, what a gun it was. <laughs> I still don't exactly know what the hell happened. I should buy the key. No reason not to pick you up. Could have stolen it. I'm not gonna steal a key. I'm gonna steal an item. This is the last of floor where we, where we could potentially get a cell creep. So if we do not get one here, there's no point in stealing items that we do not want. You're jammed, but you're not buffed. You will get buffed soon, I think. Why are you not getting jam buffed from this guy? Oh, we killed him with a corpse? I think we killed him with a corpse. Which is good. No, you're still alive. How come you weren't doing anything? I don't I do not understand this. You do not make sense. Also, can I even get to you? Yes. I was worried about if I was trying to, um, to, uh, like, dodge roll over there, then he might actually just, um, knock me into the pit. You know, I wouldn't have enough, uh, enough space on the other side of the, the arena to stand before he would just knock me into a pit. 
How about just a passive run? Someone figure out how to, oh, someone figure out how to like, uh, mess with the random room generation algorithm in the game so that I can spawn a level. So I can spawn a level that only has pits or spawn a, 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 a game that only has pits in every single room and I've got to knock into the enemies as the bullet to kill them. That would be weird. Kind of funny, I think. You see, that time it did work. I hit his bullet and it knocked it back at him. But I guess if you hit his bullet, it doesn't spawn bullets. Only after a certain amount of time that the bullet exists does the bullet do like his own bullet attack animation, you know? Gotcha. Oh, I should have gotten a triple kill. That is gonna be an item, I think, in AG and D. Cue ball bullets or something, you can knock enemies around and the enemies will uh, do damage to each other just like with Casey. But it's, it'll work with every gun, I think. Good run so far. It's a simple run so far. It's straightforward. It's simple except for the whole portal gun thing. I still have no idea what happened there. <laughs> I've never actually. Uh, I don't really play Mod the Gungeon. Whoa, my arm broke. Did you see that? I don't really play Mod the Gungeon uh, except if I'm doing like a. a Bit of a challenge run or something. That was weird. I like rolled. <laughs> I roll and at the end of your roll. At the end of your roll, you uh. You flip a table or you push an object and then the KC just appears really far away from you for some reason. Can I knock you? No, but you can die. Uh oh. That's right, I'm immune to poison! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice shooting, Tex. I don't know why you decided to do that. <laughs> He was looking right at it. He's like, I'm just gonna shoot this. Man, they, you, they just really love shooting explosive barrels. <laughs> Ding. 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 Thing. It is it is nice one hit killing most enemies in the game. Is that like where the fun from Casey comes? But I'll never see it because I uh, I play these days almost exclusively on uh, on curse mode. Every enemy has insane amounts of HP. Normal bullets and weapons that one hit kill enemies take like a million shots to die. Don't do that. Okay, we get a chest. I hate that it nearly destroys the chest instantly. Go the long way around. Go the long way home. This is not the right way. I want to sell more guns. I need to find the shop. If only you could fire Casey this fast. Do 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 do. Take me home to the ball game. I had to remember what a baseball song was. At 
least it's not gonna be the wallmonger. Maybe with the uh, kill pillars, Casey could work because it'll knock back bullets that they spawn and they have very standard attack patterns at the beginning of their, uh, the fight. Come on. Found the shop. All right, shop man, you're the last shop man in the world. Um, I I am gonna steal from you, probably. Almost assuredly, I'm gonna steal from you. I mean, there's nothing left. There's an alien engine. I mean, thematically, it fits with KC Blasphemy Alien Engine. We don't have heavy boots. Ooh, heavy boots! I should have given myself heavy boots. You know what? No, no, no. I should not have given myself heavy boots, because if this run is about practicing with Casey, figuring out if I like it, then heavy boots would be bad, because heavy boots is, is not something you would get on every Casey run. You would want to give yourself items that you would get on a Casey run, you know? Slower enemy bullets, I think, is actually phenomenal for us. Gunsink does do a lot of damage. Maybe that's why the uh, accuracy bonus is so good. I'll steal it. I'll steal it. And we'll get Casey ready. Door Lord! Haven't seen you in a while. Actually seems to work relatively well against this guy. Considering that I'm normally a big, uh, not a big fan of this guy, if I could kill him with the KC, I'd feel pretty good about that. Just gotta keep moving. Do not stop. Oh. Actually working quite well. Stop with your licking. Oh, oh! How did I not take damage from that? I should have. Oh, right! I forgot! You'd think I would remember by now that if you activate your blank, it does not get rid of beams immediately. I wish that they would change it, actually, because the whole... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I wish that they would change it. It is, it is actually kind of nice that you have to think about it. You have to think about lasers specifically being different than... You're still charmed, my dude. You have to think about lasers being specifically different than... Uh, than bullets that you can otherwise kill very quickly. I have no idea if this actually does anything with Casey, but we'll find out. I still do kind of really wish that I could be using Gunther right now. I mean, I could, but no, no, no. The theme of the run, we've already decided, is Casey. It's been a relatively quick run too, but again, we, we did not start cursed We've been cur uh, purposefully taking curse as we've been going. I think even on a standard run, even if I was just doing a normal run, not cursed, not specifically using Casey or anything like that. If I was not cursed, you buy curse, you buy the uh, charmed horn from Cursula and then you steal. It's so good to be able to steal from shops. Save yourself a ton of money. I'm not a I'm not a big fan that the um, the big bullet that we knocked back from the uh, spectral gun nut actually did spawn bullets but I, I guess that actually makes sense because that is actually how that straight up works that's how that works normally right like his bullet hit something and it explodes into more bullets 
It's not like the uh, the bullet bubble. Ah. It's not like the bullet bubble where, um, you know, normally you can uh, break it. That's weird. I did not, oh! I did not think that that is how that would work, where I could destroy both bullets from the uh, Revolvenant's arm when he did the attack that uh, makes his arms kind of wrap around you, and then he would cancel the attack and do a different attack. That is really cool. It actually, uh, that's actually something really good to know because now if I actually do find him and I have the blasphemy, even as the robot, I can actually get out of that attack very easily. I can break out of the uh, attack where he surrounds you with his arms because you can just break both of his big bullets and make him do something else. That is really cool. I did not expect that. You know, if, I, if I'm gonna learn one thing from this run, even if it has nothing to do with Casey, that's gonna be what I learn. That blasphemy or anything that breaks bullets is actually really good against the Revolvenants on that attack. Maybe not uh, Guanstones, I'm not sure the Guanstones would be able to reach. Because his he keeps his arms, you know, specifically around you. I don't like that that one's jammed, but I guess the bright side is that we don't technically have to be what? hitting them with the actual uh, baseball bat. We can just knock back the bullets. Excuse me. Aren't you just annoying? Mr. Hammer Time. Hello. You know what? I will absolutely take Omega Bullets. That's LJ. We were at a, a high level of curse. <laughs> but I'm hoping that we actually do do uh, double damage now. And I think we do. So this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna be finishing off this run with LJ, with Casey. But we do double damage, so maybe it's not that uh, impressive, you know? Either way, though, this'll be fun. I did not think we were at that high level of curse. I know I had enough money to buy it, but where's the fun in that? Man, I hate those bullet bubbles. Knowing that they are gonna like shoot a bullet and hit me, I want nothing to do with them. <laughs> you fool! You foolish fool! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Excuse me. I've learned, do not hit the bull at with the Casey. It makes the situation so much worse. This is gonna, this is going to um, really kind of warp my perspective on Casey that we have the uh, Omega Bullets item because it is a double damage upgrade. I'm gonna be like, why is Casey not doing so much damage? I thought it was a one hit kill on these enemies. Yeah, well. Also, it was being used in a run in which you had double damage. Coin crown. Okay, so that's another double damage upgrade on top of the double damage upgrade we have. The question is, is this triple damage or quadruple damage? <laughs> this run, this run is, Absolutely insane. I have no idea what's happening, but I love it. We have so much damage now. 
Now, I, now I'm gonna be disappointed if we can't kill an enemy in one shot. Even if they're jammed. That is something I'm actually curious about though. Do we have double damage or do we have uh, triple damage? Oh, you effers. I couldn't see it over uh, LJ's coat. His uh, cloak. Excuse me. Uh, you've gotta be the real, real one. I'm surprised we didn't kill him in one shot. Just took two. You're taking one shot now, but I think you were taking two shots when you were jammed. Are we doing more damage when we knock bullets back too? It feels like we might be doing more damage because it definitely feels like I shouldn't be killing him as quickly as I'm killing him. Those jammed enemies just by knocking back bullets. Oh, out of here, you jerk. Gotcha. I know I wasn't gonna kill him. I just wanted to knock one bullet off of me. Get off of me. Do we do more damage when we uh, hit corpses? I don't know. This is weird. I do not know the answers to these questions, although I wish I did. That's unusual, but actually not that unusual. Sometimes those yellow mages do spawn bullets when you kill them at the last frame of their attack animation. So maybe that's what was happening earlier when I uh, mentioned it. Dong. 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 Something satisfying about this. Then again, Again, we've got freaking triple damage or whatever the hell it is. Oh, damn. Well, that's okay. It's actually a locked shop that I wish I had a key for because I could steal from the shop. Darn it. Burn it down. Weld it. Use your sword as a key. It works in the movies. All right, well, I guess we'll fight the dragon. We have two blanks, 562 credits. And I guess we will use, I'm not gonna use Blasphemy, and I, I don't think I'm gonna use Casey. We need to use something that actually has a little bit of damage behind it, and I think we're gonna use either the Gunzang or the Balloon Gun. Just for the boss fight, or I guess for all boss fights, really. Come on. I'm imagining that Gunzang triple slash quadruple damage should do a number on the Dragon. I guess we haven't found the secret room, but we might not be able to find the secret room. Yeah, this is absolutely damage capping ourselves, which is what we want. Not Jam Dragon. I guess we only have a 50% chance of it being a jam dragon. Oh, I got hit by a bullet. We get another double damage upgrade. <laughs> I think it's double damage. That was a stupid bullet to get hit by. I saw it coming. Through the skulls, I think they do pierce through the skulls. The Gunzing's a, a good enough weapon to use here. We use surprisingly little ammo, but maybe that is not surprising in and of itself. Oh, right! Forgot. We abs. Right, I mean, just use freaking blasphemy here, you know? We absolutely want to use uh, Alien Engine to get the kill here on the dragon. 
Whatever. Well, I screwed that one up. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Get out of here, Mr. LJ. Oh, we can go down to the next floor. Oh, I wanted the... Bust me for a reason. We can go down to the next floor, um, specifically with Casey out and then not summon LJ so we can just not worry about him. I think I'm gonna do that just because, you know, why not, really? I'll do what I want. Although LJ hasn't really been that much of a problem except on the dragon fight. Although I got hit even when he wasn't here, but we can get back up to near, that oh, we can get back up to full health at least. Which should be fine, hopefully. Really wish I had one more key though. I definitely would continue to steal considering that we are at full curse. But again, maybe this is what I need. I need to practice with LJ and maybe he'll be here for me to practice on. Maybe I should spawn him on the next floor and have him running around trying to kill me. And maybe I should maybe use something other than, uh, than Casey if I feel the need to, you know? Practice. If this is all about practice, then maybe I should use this opportunity to practice. Then again, as I mentioned, this is kind of warping my opinion on the weapon that we have at least triple damage. <laughs> Omega bullets, gilded bullets. When we take damage, we get the, uh, the anger. When we take damage, I think we will summon LJ, so I guess we could just wait long enough and we'll just get him eventually. How much damage did, did that do? Oh, hello. That was weird. It was like the, uh, the Bludgeon hitbox hit the veteran. But the Bludgeon still killed him. Okay, you know what? I know we're summoning LJ to do this, but just use the frickin' tornadoes. You get him. You get him, tornadoes. Tornadoes of death! There might be more enemies that spawn here too, so let's leave a bunch of tornadoes around. I'm not using Casey, but I'll, I'll mix it up a little bit if I feel the uh, the need has arisen. All right, I'll take the key. We might actually find a chest. It's gonna have to be a chest that just drops, but it could happen. I also just forgot that uh, I could have also just straight up used the Charmed Horn to help me out a little bit here on the last room. I guess if you have a Casey that literally one hits enemies, regardless of whether or not they're jammed, it does work fine in bullet hell. I didn't even see that bullet coming in. I thought that Casey was uh, gonna protect me and it didn't. Casey, you failed me for the last time. Take some ammo. We're not gonna be killing Lich with Casey, I don't think. As much as you might wanna see it, it's not gonna happen. Just twirling the bat. Oh, Jesus. That's a bad shot to get hit by. I'm noticing that this is not a good situation, but I guess we are the bullet, so it doesn't necessarily matter, but that we're not getting knockback on all the swings. It is actually becoming a problem in certain situations like this. I mean, I, sh I just straight up should not be using KC to kill those guys in that situation, but I, I felt like I wanted to. You know what? KC's not good there. It's not good here either, because these guys are nigh unreachable across their gaps. No 
was extremely risky and I should not have done that. But I did. <laughs> but I did. Get out of the way, I gotta go kill him. Oh, you son of a gun. They're far too fast. They're too fast. No, don't run away from me. I guess we are doing enough damage to kill a lot of enemies in one shot. There we go. No. Oh. Almost let him respawn. I was hoping for a little bit more out of that. <laughs> I was like, this uh, freezing explosive barrel, that'll protect me. It's gonna be a uh, revolving it around here somewhere. Oh my lord! Two shots? We actually also killed the uh, blue shotgunner, which I was not expecting, but I guess he was just in the wrong place at the right time. That room sucked. So again, I'm, I'm realizing that not all rooms should be done with Casey, which honestly is, um, makes sense. Because you know, I'm a big fan of saying things like, not every weapon is good for every situation. You gotta know what weapon to use for when, what's a good support weapon. Maybe that's Casey. Maybe Casey is a good support weapon if you use it correctly, and I'm just now learning how to do that. That was really good. <laughs> so in this situation, this is actually gonna be a little tough. I guess we could just knock his bullets back. That's gotta be the triple damage from uh, the damage upgrades that we have. Killing that guy in like three of his own bullets. Also, I have not yet once used freaking Charmed Horn against enemies. I used it once against bullets. Why did I? That was dumb. This is even the reason why I wanted it, specifically for these guys. It's like, hey, use it for the gun cultists. It seems like a good idea, doesn't it? I keep hearing an enemy walk around, and then I realize, that's me. That is my own pitter-patter of my feetsies. Get out of here, table. Ah, I'm on fire. I know I'm on fire. It'll take me a minute to get not on fire. You coming over here? No, you are not coming over here. Thank you. Thank you. The damage upgrade is so good. <laughs> it's helping me out. I hate to find out what happens when I hit one of these bullets. Yep. You know, that's actually not half bad. It's one singular circular pattern that you have to dodge. I can do that. That's no problem. I can make one dodge per enemy. It seems completely doable. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Would you guys not be shooting me anymore? 
you. I want to try to like kill every enemy with Casey because it's what I've been doing. Oh, thank you. For shooting your laser at the exact wrong moment. I think my bat turns yellow when I fire too. No, the bullets that I hit turn yellow. Something turns yellow due to the uh, the effect of having gilded bullets because it makes my bullets yellow. Not exactly sure what that is. Okay, I got knockback on that shot, not on the shot before it for some reason. If the knockback was consistent and it applied on every swing, I would feel so much more confident about using Casey, but again, in a lot of situations, I'm thinking to myself, I wanna knock back an enemy. Hell, Gunther would be able to knock back an enemy more than uh, what I'm getting out of uh, Casey right now, which is oftentimes just nothing. At least we're killing these guys relatively easily. No. Well, this might be the last chance we get to pick up ammo. We have basically full ammo in everything because we haven't been using anything. Could also, you know, get LJ away from me and make my life a little bit easier, but this is, this is going fine. Barring the uh, little bit of damage that we've taken, this has been a relatively good bullet hell considering that we have been doing it nearly entirely with Casey, which I never thought I would be doing. Yet here we are. <laughs> and it's actually going quite well. But again, this is this has got to be the uh, damage, damage upgrades talking. That's what I wanted to see. Wow! You do not die in one shot, huh? You die in two. I know where the enemy is. He's all the way over there, but I just want to lure LJ away so I have time to maneuver. Yeah, not being able to hear feet is actually kind of annoying. Ah, oh, there's another one. Annoying. Excuse me. No, get out of here. You're not gonna knock me into a pit. I'm gonna knock you into a pit, and you're gonna die. Where the, where's that bullet going? Like, it's supposed to go back to whoever originated it, but it just bounced off of the wall. Thanks for no... It didn't work. How? Have we not died yet? Ah, oh, I did get hit there. You know, I am gonna have to blank that, I think. We might not survive on the uh, Lich fight, but even if we don't, it's been a lovely run. A lovely learning experience. I actually did get armor back, all things considered. That is really good. It's not worth the damage that we ended up taking because we took a lot of a lot of damage, but it's okay. Did I miss him with the swing or something? What happened there? The thing about the priests is as long as you keep moving in a circle, even when they activate their uh, bullets on their heads, you're gonna be fine. All right, boss fight, finally, Jesus. Not a lot of uh, distance to flee. We only have two and a half HP. 
But I can finally say we can get rid of Casey. Oh. That was tough. That was tough. I guess we're not done, but getting to this point was tough. Took a while. So Casey, maybe it is better than I give it credit for, but I don't know, on high curse, having inconsistent knockback, not being able to kill enemies in one shot, having certain um, enemies or bullets spawn additional bullets when you hit them, even though it should break the bullet or you know send the bullet back at its originator, makes it, makes it just feel less good, you know? Try our best to kill everything. Come on. I'm using both balloon gun and gun thing because I think that they will probably work better together. Although I do not like the idea of having to dodge LJ's bullets at the same time. At least we had armor, so it didn't cost us uh, one full heart. Uh, it just cost us the armor getting hit there, which is not as bad. I think we want to use Gun. I keep on to call it Gunther. Gunzang against the second phase. Big singular target, easy to hit. We'll use uh, Balloon Gun on the next phase. Did I? He looks purple. Did I charm him? I charmed him, he shouldn't be hitting me. Just feels to me that uh, balloon gun's gonna do more damage because the shots are uh, pretty much easier to hit with. Uh oh. Oh, I almost had, if I dodge roll to the right, I think I would have had it. I tried to dodge left through the bullets. You jerk! Might get hit here if we do we'll lose balloon gun ammo, that's okay. Balloon gun just seems like it does so much DPS. This is annoying. Hey, do I, we're empty. We got it. What did I get hit by? <laughs> I didn't see that last hit coming, but uh, oh well, at least we defeated the Lich. And there we go, that is a, uh, a Casey run as the bullet with Mod the Gungeon. That was an eventful run. Yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like on curse mode it's probably not worth it, but it could be if you're good enough with it. But if you had more reliable knockback, if the knockback bug, that it, it is a bug, I believe it to be a bug anyways, it should be considered a bug, that if your uh, your weapon has zero frames, on the, like the first frame of the animation of the weapon swinging or firing, it hits the enemy, it doesn't apply knockback. I think if that bug was fixed and Casey applied reliable knockback, I feel like it could be an, a, an amazing weapon, but whenever you don't get that knockback and you really need it, like against a, a Bludgeon, you really gotta think, damn, this is not very good. You do get the knockback on a kill, but you don't get the knockback on just hitting an enemy, and sometimes you really do need that knockback. Although, you could always just, you know, I, I kind of purposefully used KC specifically entirely on this run, except on bosses, well, except for the... I cannot remember what boss I actually did use Casey on. What was our fourth floor boss? Hill Pillars? High Priest? Did we even fight the fourth floor boss? What was the fourth floor? Oh, it was the Door Lord. Right, 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 right. <laughs> For some reason in my brain, it's like, I don't remember fighting any of the bosses. Yeah, well, because you fought the Door Lord. But yeah, I feel like um, 
If the knockback was consistent and if you actually didn't spawn extra bullets from bullets that you fired back like the uh, the bird and the the frog that spawns the bullet bubbles, I think it would be a much better weapon. But those those attacks, the fact that you hit the bullet bubble and it still spawns a bullet at you is annoying because often, well, I mean, if you're hitting the bullet bubble, you're in melee range and you don't really have a lot of time to dodge that. Especially if you don't expect it to come out, especially if he's like in an attack animation and you uh, you think you can kill him before the bullet comes out, but the bullet actually does come out and then it fires a bullet the bubble at you and then, or the bu bullet bubble fires a bullet at you. And sometimes, you know, you know, you might be thinking, just always dodge when you swing at a frog guy. Well, what if you can't? What if you need to swing your weapon, but there's other bullets coming at you, but you know if you stand still, you're gonna be fine, or you can, you know, do a, a little weave to kind of dodge around bullets. And you know, maybe you've got LJ after him, he's about to swing his scythe, but you know that you're gonna be able to dodge him if you just stand still, or maybe you gotta dodge backwards, and you don't wanna dodge backwards, because if you dodge backwards, the bullet bubble bullet will just hit you, and look, I don't know what I'm saying, but KC does seem like a fun weapon, it seems like a good weapon when you actually get on a roll and you're just like, bam, 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 just knocking enemies around, it's a lot of fun. Having triple damage, maybe quadruple damage, was amazing. Omega bullets and gilded bullets are kind of made for this type of a run. And even though we had LJ, we still managed to do it. So it's got to be pretty good. But again, I feel like maybe the damage upgrade was kind of uh, warping my opinion on the weapon because it did, was a little bit stronger than it would have been on an average run. You know, two or three shotting jammed enemies would make this significantly more difficult. Killing veterans, killing uh, those crossbow skeleton dudes. Hell, killing a freaking Pupilon. Not being able to kill him in one shot and having to be so close to him and to swing the, the Casey makes it seem like if you don't have double damage, if you don't have triple damage, getting cursed is bad. Because if you pick up Casey on nine curse and you get the 10th level of curse, 50% of your enemies will be jammed and 50% of your enemies won't die in one shot, but you're gonna be standing next to them and they do a full heart of damage, they fire faster, they, you know, more of a pain in the ass to deal with. But regardless, oh, we only flawless two bosses there, lovely. Regardless, that was a very fun run. And we got a, a lot of really good pickups on that run. Not only Gunther, but Dark Marker and the Portal Gun out of a black chest, which then immediately exploded. Um, but this was a high quality run, I think. Definitely winnable, even if you are not using KC only. I mean, I did sell a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of weapons earlier that were actually uh, pretty decent weapons, but. Good run, good run. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.